Has Hollywood soured on America's sweetheart? Over the years, tawdry tales of Julia Roberts' diva antics have become the stuff of legend, generating reams of lurid tabloid fodder. Here's a rundown of some of the celebs who allegedly can't stand her. Roberts was reportedly so irksome while filming 1994's Hook, directed by Steven Spielberg, that cast and crew nicknamed her Tinker Hell. While working on the film, she was embroiled in a highly publicized breakup with her then-fiancé Kiefer Sutherland. According to Steven Spielberg, a biography, Roberts once sashayed on the set ludicrously late and totally unapologetic, grandly proclaiming, I'm ready now. Spielberg's response? We're ready when I say we're ready, Julia. She'd reportedly stay locked in her trailer for hours at a time, one of several quirks that inspired Spielberg to tell six minutes, it was not a great time for Julia and I to be working together. When host Ed Bradley asked if Spielberg would ever work with Roberts again, his response was a masterclass in shade. This is a 60 Minutes question, isn't it? Shortly after the segment aired, Roberts told Vanity Fair, I saw that and my eyes popped out of my head. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that this person that I knew and trusted was actually hesitating to come to my defense. It was a hard lesson to learn. It was the first time that I felt I had a turncoat in my midst. Siblings always have their differences, but not speaking for more than a decade is especially hardcore. According to People magazine, the animosity between Julia Roberts and her brother Eric stems from a 1993 custody battle over his daughter, actress Emma Roberts. Wary of her brother's drug abuse at the time, Julia sided with Eric's ex, Kelly Cunningham, during the dispute. The decision reportedly earned the Pretty Woman star 10 years of radio silence from the brother who helped launch her career. Following the birth of Julia's twins in 2004, Julia and Eric reportedly had something of a reconciliation. Eric told Access Online that there was never really a feud and that the whole thing had been blown out of proportion. In a 2014 interview, he spun another theory regarding their estrangement based on the press constantly referring to her as Eric's little sister. And one day she got sick of it and said, I don't want to hear his name anymore. So I said, ooh, there must be a problem. So, no problem. Anyway, what else? Julia Roberts and Nick Nolte clearly didn't love or even like working together during 1994's I Love Trouble. According to the Los Angeles Times, Roberts was prone to temper tantrums during production while Nolte went out of his way to deliberately irritate her. Whenever possible, the two stars reportedly filmed scenes with stand-ins so they wouldn't have to look at each other. Roberts spoke to the New York Times about Nolte in 1993, calling him disgusting and saying, he's going to hate me for saying this, but he seems to go out of his way to repel people. Nolte responded by biting right back, it's not nice to call someone disgusting, but she's not a nice person. Everyone knows that. According to The Good Wife star Juliana Margulies, Julia Roberts can be exceedingly rude to waitstaff. In 2010, Margulies was on The Late Show with David Letterman telling a personal anecdote about when she used to work at a restaurant where only famous people dined. One of them was Julia Roberts, and Margulies described her thus, she's lovely when you're not waiting on her. Years later, in 2006, the two actresses were working on plays directly across the street from each other, and one night they wound up going out on the town together. That's when Margulies confronted Roberts about the restaurant incident. Roberts asked if she was horrible back then, and Margulies replied that she kind of was. But at least in this case, there appears to be a happy ending. As Markulis summed it up, We were both 23. She was a huge star at the time, and there was 20 people around her. She admitted it. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry, and then she bought me dinner. But how did Roberts treat the waiter that time? Unfortunately for us, Markulis took the high road and decided not to go there. As the premiere of 2013's August Osage County neared, journalists were a swirl with juicy gossip about an alleged tiff between Julia Roberts and Meryl Streep. The overall consensus was that the two actresses can't stand each other. A source told the National Enquirer that Streep was up in arms after Roberts allegedly tampered with the film's ending. The original ending featured a shot of Streep, but Roberts apparently wasn't having it, allegedly claiming she looked so sad and that it was too much of a downer ending. To be fair, test audiences weren't feeling the original ending either, and even the author of the play the film was based on supported the change. We may never know for sure how Streep truly feels about that change, but she was reportedly a no-show at the premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. According to The Enquirer's source, Meryl was livid, and she never wants to work with Julia again. If there's any credence to all these other stories, can you really blame her? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!